Okay, this is part two. So I'm just going to pick up where I left off. 50 degrees below zero meant 80 odd degrees of frost. So it's 50 degrees below zero. That's stinking cold. I'll put a little exclamation point right there. Very cold. Such fact impressed him as being cold and uncomfortable, and that was all. It did not lead him to meditate upon his frailty as a creature of temperature and upon man's frailty in general, able only to live within certain narrow limits of heat and cold, and from there on did not lead him to con the conjectural field of immortality and man's place in the universe. Wow, that's a really long sentence. But when I was talking about that, I made a connection to what I learned about naturalism, this idea that man is weak in compared to nature. In compared to nature. And I think this word frail must mean that he's not very strong. And so to me, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to write this down. This is a connection to this idea of naturalism. And this idea of naturalism is telling us that man is frail, that man is out of control of uh, his situation. So let's write this down. Man is frail. Okay out of control of surroundings. Okay. And from there on, it did not lead him to the conjectural field of immortality and man's place in the universe. Okay. 50 degrees below zero stood for a bite of frost that hurt and that must be guarded against by the mit use of mittens, ear flaps, warm moccasins, and thick socks. 50 degrees below zero was to him just precisely 50 degrees below zero. That there should be anything more to it than that was a thought that never entered his head. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and, and write this down here. I'm wondering, this kind of goes to this idea of naturalism, but he says that it's negative 50. I'm going to write this down. It's negative 50 degrees. And he should be scared. He should be concerned. It looks like this man, he looks like he might be overconfident. It looks like he might have poor instincts. And it also looks like he might be overconfident. I'm just going to write that down. Okay, those are my annotations for page one. I want your, your page to look something like this. I have at least 10 of them. We can check these off right here. Um, I did make a connection to naturalism. I did say that there's a tone of disapproval. We did go ahead and find theme. You're going to find this challenging. You can go right straight through your list if you want to. Um, but on the last page of the selection, you'll want to go ahead and annotate the page. And it should look like something like this right here or something like this right here um, in these annotations. Lots of writing. Anytime you write, you get a point. I want to see your annotations. So try that um, when you get to page 10 of the text. In the meantime, as you read the rest of the text, Go ahead and try to answer some of your study guide questions and just get a real general feel of the text so we can have some good conversations about what happens to this man as it's 50 degrees below zero. Good luck, English students. I'll talk to you later.